Hello everyone, we have another boxy charm unboxing to do. And we got this one at some point this week, I think. What's the theme? Spring Revival. Technically it's spring. It, it sure doesn't feel like it right now, but as, as we got <laughs> as we got a frost warning from our yeah. Alexa. It's like 57 degrees now, but we got a frost warning for Monday, I think. Is that a palette? Yeah, I think so. It is the Sour Ya Doin eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bakery. I wonder if it's going to be scented lemon because everything's lemon on it. I would lemon. love that. That's like one of my favorite scents. These shades will make your eyes squint and then light up in surprise. Rich and bold yet soft for those who want to be subtle. A sour ya doin is perfect for spring looks, date night, or maybe even a holiday mixer. 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 There's plastic on this? Yeah, the little sheath on it. I was thinking it was going to be like lemon based. So when you use it, you just, you know, feels like you're putting lemon in your eye. That yellow's you, really pretty. I thought that you're gonna make a joke that your eyes that you already squint in your eyes. <laughs> My eyes already jacked up. So it looks like is that one like kind of opalescent? Please tell me what that word means. It's like kind of shifty. Like it has a different shift on how you look no. at it. So it looks like these two, this one's really glittery, this one's shimmery. And then that's like low glitter. So that will be interested. I'm I'm pretty excited. Wow, that's just like blown out. But I'm pretty excited about that yellow. It's pretty. That's not gonna do anything. It's too this. bright. But I and like the lemons lock, on the inside the too. That's a cute detail. I have another beauty bakery palette here somewhere. I don't feel like Aside from the yellow, which is cute, I think I have all of these colors and other palettes, unfortunately, and I shut my hair in it. Long hair problems. Word. I got you. What is that? That looks expensive. Yeah, it's heavy, too. This is the Pure Heels Real Rose Petal Sleeping Mask. This sleep mask contains real rose petals and rose water to moisturize and revitalize your dry and stressed skin while sleeping. While rolling it on the skin, it delivers Rose's vital moisturizing energy to the skin with a melting technology of rose petals. So it looks like it's kind of like a gel formula. That smells nice. It smells like rose water. It does. So very much a gel formula. What do you formula. do? You just put it on your head? No, you'd like... Like this. Upward motions to not cause wrinkles like you're doing squinting right now. I see you. Let me see. I don't like this. See? I'm old. I'm going to have wrinkles. No, you, no you're not. Not in this house. Middle-aged. No eye. wrinkles in this house. I'm an old... Oh, just poke me in the eye. <laughs> so what does this do? You just leave this on? Yeah. That's what a sleeping mask is. You don't take it off. I'm not sleeping. I'm going to work in like two, three hours. You're probably going to be sleeping soon. You had a lot of food today. Oh, so good though. <laughs> we had big cheesesteaks from WizKids and then we had ice cream from Vegan Treats. I had a cheesesteak bowl that I could not finish. All right. This is from Christopher Robin. It's instant volume mist with rose water. There's a lot of rose themed stuff. Spring. That's when the roses come in. What are the directions on uh, this? This mist makes thin, fine, or flat hair feel thicker and full of body while delivering an easy-to-style hold. Using a delicate rose blend-infused formula with baobab leaf extract and oligo elements from seawater, this mist helps enhance hair's texture and provides a lift at the roots for a long-lasting, volumized look. You should spray that in my hair before you braid it. Does it say just spray it at the root on the bottle? That's what it is. I always wonder about volumizing sprays. Like Application. It says, Apres la shampoo. Oh, no, that's not English. After the volumizing shampoo and conditioner, apply on dry or damp hair, misting the roots and length shake before use. Nice. That's what it smells like. It smells like rose. Give it a smell. Oh. I like rose. In a small quantities. Not in everything we get. No. 
This Ooh. is the Item Beauty by Addison Ray. Isn't she like a TikToker? I don't know. Addison Ray, why is it not someone familiar? that I follow at least? No, she's one of those people that became famous on TikTok for being famous. It's weird. Okay. Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. Oh, good. I needed a new mascara. This flake free and smudge proof lengthening mascara is packed with nourishing lash boosters and hydrating conditioners like castor seed oil, glycerin, and coconut oil so your lashes can live large. The mm -hmm. unique micro wand and exclusive comp. And exclusive complex in the formula. I think you just read that strangely. No, it says, and exclusive complex in the formula. Naturally enhance every single lash for three times the volume. That's... Ooh. That would be like a good lower lash brush as well. It's so tiny. It's a very micro. Yeah. Doesn't smell like roses. Just smells like mascara. Do you need eyeliner? Probably. Ooh. This Persona Cosmetics 24-Hour Waterproof Eyeliner. Intensify your eyes with this creamy 24-hour waterproof eyeliner that glides on smooth for oh. all day to all night wear. Featuring a smooth, blendable formula, this 24-hour waterproof eyeliner is ideal for both the lash line and the water line. Let me guess. It's not black? It's black. Oh, okay. I was just hoping it wasn't a pencil. It's really creamy. Came out nice and pigmented. It's all cream. It's so cream. But, like, I can't use this on my upper lid because my eyelids are so oily. That it would, what, that it would, like, bleed down into your eyes? No, it would just be, like, everywhere. Oh. Well, that wouldn't be good. No. Also, speaking of oily eyelids, if anyone has any suggestions for a good eye primer that's great for oily eyelids and hooded eyes. I am all ears and all oily hooded eyes because I'm really struggling trying to find a primer that works for me. Um, I panicked earlier and just put more eyeshadow on because it started to like do that crease thing. And <laughs> she's right back here. She's like, it's creasy and it just starts putting more on. Yeah, like, like, what do you, with my finger, like packing the most I could possibly get on there? Like, what? I don't, I don't know. <sighs> Let me know. If you have any good suggestions i'd love to hear them i'm gonna try most of this stuff i don't know that i'm gonna use the hair product because i just washed and styled my hair today and i'm not doing that again for a few maybe, days because that was just it's too I'll, much maybe i'll use the hair product are you can use it before you braid my hair that's not how you use it okay then we'll not use it <laughs> you have to like use it and actually style it that's if i were to use it in your hair and braid it you wouldn't know if it worked because your hair would be braided, so there would be no room for there to be volume. See, and this is why I'm not the expert. But I'm pretty excited to use this tonight. I'm going to play with the palette, what the does eyeliner. Smell, does my face smell like roses? No, not okay. bad. Like, faintly. I don't want some to get in my car drove when I'm driving Uber time and be like, smell nice, like, man. Oh, man, bro. You take care of your skin? I like that product. Is that the sleeping mask? And you'd be like, yeah! And then you guys become best friends. <laughs> and that's how I meet my best friend. Yes. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited, um, especially the mascara, because like I said, I needed a new mascara. I accidentally bought another one of the Blink mascaras, that I'd gotten in a boxy charm. I, I wanted a tubing mascara from Sephora and got that one not realizing it was the same thing because there's that little part in the tube that like scrapes off extra product, breaks really early on into using it. Mm. So I hate it. Like I love the formula, but I hate that it's just like chunks that come out now and it's expensive. So I didn't want to throw it out and I don't have a receipt. So yeah. anyways, I'm going to play with all that stuff and see you in just one second. I'm not going to be here. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. So I didn't do like an in-depth try on with everything. I'm having some wrist issues today. I'm in a lot of pain. I don't know if it's because the weather changed really dramatically. And that was the hand and wrist that I broke probably like 14 years ago. But anyways, it was a struggle. So... I kind of just did it on my own time. It would have taken a really long time to do all of that on video. So let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. I did pretty much use all the shades in here. I have a lot of the yellow on my eyelid. I used, I think it was that and this in the crease. 
And then I did use the two shimmers kind of under my lash line. I used the darker brown here to blend things out. I used that iridescent white to highlight my brow bone and that to kind of like blend into the upper eye area. Is there a word for that? I don't know. It doesn't matter. So um, not super thrilled with these. There's a lot of kickback in the pan itself, which I was worried about say this one getting into that white color because gross if I wanted a true like iridescence I don't really want that like red terracotta in it oh my nails match the palette um I first applied it with a brush over my primer and it wasn't very vivid and like that looks like it should be a very vivid yellow I then went in with my finger to try to just like directly get her on there and still like not the most vivid it's in person really not that spectacular um i did go in i think it was with this or this initially to blend into my crease and then i went over with the the darker terracotta there just to give it a little more pop and i wanted to do my eyes first just in case there was any fallout there was so much fallout and even like just directly applying it with my finger, there was so much fallout. I tapped my brush off. I don't know what else I could do. I think it's just the formula, honestly. It sometimes, like first swipe felt like very velvety, but then it kind of felt very dry. So I don't know if there's like something to the outside of the way they press these or what, but I, I'm not impressed. It's a bummer. I really want to like this palette. The gold shimmer here, the glitter, really pretty. Um, I have that in the inner corner and like right under the front of my lash line. I really like that, but that's not really a justifiable reason to hang on to this palette, unfortunately. Maybe other people have better ways to apply it. I do use really small brushes because I have very hooded eyes. so. I don't know, maybe it's meant for like bigger, fluffier brushes, but also probably not because they're just not very pigmented, unfortunately. I just kept thinking about um, the Violet Voss palettes I have that are just like boom pigment, especially the Vivid ones, which I feel is like a very hard thing to do. Those I believe are pressed pigments, but maybe it's a difference between an eyeshadow and a pressed pigment. I don't know, just super bummed about this. and. I'm probably going to find a new home for it. I love the packaging. It's so cute, but like if it's not going to work for me, it's not going to work. As I said, I'm not trying that hair product for review today just because I am not washing my hair probably till Wednesday because if you have a lot of hair or long hair or just hate washing your hair, you get me. You understand what hair washing day is. I did use the sleeping mask last night. I do use, um, oh, that's my phone. I do use a serum and a retinol, like a retinol stick under my, it's really cool. It's a, a one I found from Sephora. If you want more info about that, I could post it in the comments. Just let me know. And then, um, I don't think I used a moisturizer. I just went for this right away because I wanted to reap all the benefits of the sleeping mask. The formula feels a little bit like you can kind of see it like it feels a little bit like hair gel. It's a very jelly consistency. A little dab goes a long way. And I think that this container is like $53. So that's a very good sign that you're not just going to like go through this in a week and put a little dot everywhere. Just, you know, rubbed it in with my fingers. I was worried that it was going to stay really, really sticky and wet for a long time. So I did it maybe like, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes before I went to bed. I don't know when it dried down enough to be tolerable, but it did. And I was very happy about that. I didn't feel like it got really tight under my eyes, anything like that. Um, I don't know if it would transfer off your face when you sleep because I don't sleep any other way than on my back because I don't want wrinkles. And it's just, that's, that's how I find comfortable sleeping. I don't know. I feel like even, even if you did change positions a lot and you were worried about it coming off, maybe do it like two to three hours before you go to bed just to get 
all of those good ingredients just to soak into your skin. The eyeliner, we'll see how this holds up. I did use this on my upper eyelid, which I said are very, very oily. I felt like the application was really nice. Like this is a very creamy formula. I'm happy with that. I did do it under my eyes. I don't normally tight line my eyes just because I know that's really not great for the oil glands in your lower eyelid. But for science, I wanted to try it today just to see how long it would stick around and last. So we will update about that. The mascara. I'm really like actually pleasantly surprised with this. Not only is this like a really beautiful component, the brush makes me think a whole lot of Benefit Roller Lash, which has to be probably my favorite mascara ever made so far. I like that it has all those tiny little bristles that really do grip your lashes and it's probably, I don't know if you can actually see them. I don't really have a lot of eyelashes to begin with, but I felt like it did give them good length, um, definition as much as it could and uh, it was buildable. It got maybe a tiny bit clumpy, but I really don't mind that. I did one coat on my lower lashes and they looked really good. I feel like even if you're looking just for a lower lash mascara, this would be perfect based on the size of the brush. Sometimes when they're like really big brushes, it's very, very difficult to maneuver on your lower lashes and you just get it everywhere. And I did not have that problem with this. So we'll see how this wears throughout the rest of the day. I mean, it's not like going to be an eight hour wear test because I got to go to work tomorrow and it's like two o'clock. I think I finished all this up probably, I don't know, close to one maybe, but we'll see. Very excited if this does work. I probably would consider repurchasing it in the future. I don't think it was crazy expensive. Maybe it was like around the 18 to 22 price point. So yeah, um, I will check in again just to do a wrap up and how everything lasted and I'll see you guys then. Bye. Oh, hey. So I wanted to check in. It's been probably about four or five hours at this point. I did do like a 40 something minute cardio workout. So I thought it would be a great time to check in just to see how everything's wearing. And like literally nothing has budged. I'm very impressed. I'm very sweaty. And uh, yeah, I really thought that the eyeshadow was going to transfer a whole bunch. I really, really thought the eyeliner was going to transfer a whole bunch and it hasn't. And I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm just going to take a peek. Yeah. Like not even the mascara is flaking. So that's a really great sign. Um, as I said, not super thrilled with how pigmented the eyeshadows are or how they applied, but they did stick around pretty well. I mean, probably a little bit faded, but yeah, pretty happy with the eyeliner, the mascara for sure. Can't wait to keep using that. And um, that's about it. Those are all my thoughts on the things I tried. I'm probably going to try the hair product. I'm a little nervous. My hair is like past my elbows. And with a lot of volumizing products, they use a lot of ingredients that kind of give a grip to the hair or like a grittiness, a texture, if you will. So that can be a little terrifying when you have a lot of hair that could be tangled up. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on any of these products. Did we get some of the same things? Um, again, if you have any recommendations for eyeshadow primers, I am all ears. I am open to it. And uh, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and taking care. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. Um, hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. Uh, like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you also do random workouts on YouTube. I found this one channel. I really, really, really like their creator. It's Grow With Joe. I love her energy. She's amazing. I recommend her 100%. And anyways, I hope everyone's taking care. Bye-bye.